Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We do have very serious breaking news that we want to bring to your attention tonight. Uh, let me get, get you right to this here. This is on Israel National News. Uh, the title of the article is Russian Boots on the Ground in Syria. And that it is a question being asked and posed. Uh, but we will go into the seriousness of the ramifications of this in just a moment. The article here states... While the Obama administration uh, continues to, pr to prevacate over its strategy in Syria, it appears Russia is feeling rather less inhibited in its intervention. Uh, the Kremlin has been a staunch ally of, Asa of the Assad regime since the Syrian uh, uprising began. Uh, and, uh, and has provided invaluable assistance against the rebels seeking to oust embattled dictator, sending arms, acting as a diplomatic um, shield, including helping the White House climb down from its threats uh, in recent months, uh, excuse me, from its threats in 2013, and even sending military advisors to help uh, train and direct Assad's overstretched uh, forces. But now it seems an increasingly am ambitious Russia administration, Russian administration has began deploying boots on the ground. You've heard that right. Boots on the ground in Syria from Russia. At least the front line around Assad's regime strongholds in uh, Latkia, which have in recent months been threatened by an advancing uh, Islamist, Islamist rebel alliance calling itself the Army of conquest. Uh, evidence of Russian soldiers actively fighting alongside Syrian army and pro-government militia forces was most recently revealed by the Daily Beast journalist Michael Weiss, who also pointed to the credible reports the Kremlin is prepared to send pilots to carry out bombing missions alongside their Syrian uh, counterparts targeting both ISIS and Syrian rebels. Even more intriguingly, in one of the videos released by the pro-regime na uh, National Defense Forces militia during clashes with the Army of Conquest, which by the way is the video you're seeing in the background now, um, it's stated here, uh, which includes forces from Al-Qaeda's Nursa Front, the distinct sound of Russian voices can be heard. At one point, it is even possible to make out orders being given uh, in Russian and apparently to the gunner in a Russian-made B2, B2R-82A fighting vehicle. Uh, very serious implications this is. It, is. it is serious for Israel. It is serious uh, for the United States and NATO and their allies as well. Because why? One, there's extreme tensions in Ukraine. Russia has announced a, a huge force uh, on its western border in order to uh, protect against the advances of NATO and the forces that they have built up on the former Soviet Union. Now, we know that the, the NATO and their allies have been bombing a lot of the ISIS forces and other forces that are, and, and even has uh, been, been bombing, uh, the, in recent days has been bombing the Syrian forces with Russia with their own boots on the grounds now and also willing to bomb those uh, people that are fighting against the Syrian regime, this can certainly easily spiral into a major conflict in the Middle East as well as an all-out war in uh, Europe as well because no doubt if Russia gets involved in a fight with NATO in the process of this or if NATO ends up bombing uh, some of the Russian soldiers there that are fighting alongside of the Syrian soldiers there in their attempt to overthrow uh, Basar Assad, it's going to certainly turn into a real bloodbath in the region there and an, no doubt an all-out confrontation globally. I'm Stephen Benoon with this important update tonight. Shalom and uh, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Good evening.